Do you ever wonder if organic is worth it? We tested four American families to find out. Can eating organic food really reduce the pesticides we're exposed to? I wanted to take part in this study because even though I consider myself to be a pretty health conscious mom, sometimes I feel like, oh, well, we're doing good enough or we're still healthier then, but are we as healthy as we can be? Probably not. We wanted to see as family what the results would be if we did, you know, purge all the non-organics out and what would happen. First, we tested the family's pesticide levels on their regular diet. Every morning we gave a urine sample, all five of us. I have no idea what the results will be like. I'm pretty much somebody with no knowledge, so I'm kind of eager and a little bit scared. As an adult, I feel like, well, I don't know, we can handle it. But to see it in my kids is probably the most scary part. The first round of testing found that everyone had a number of different pesticides in their bodies. Oh, wow. What are we eating? It's surprising to me that we'd have that much chemical, given how young they are. And I'd be concerned, of course, about how it might impact them in the future. Pesticides are poisons, and they're designed to be poisons. The same mechanisms by which uh, these pesticides are designed to be harmful to insects, including bees and pollinators, unfortunately, those mechanisms also impact us. Some of these pesticides have historical links to toxic nerve agents that were created and used during World War II. These pesticides don't belong in our bodies. Health problems linked to pesticide exposure are on the rise, including autism, learning disabilities, cancers, infertility, and Parkinson's. We are detecting more and more pesticides on the food grown in the United States. If we were to test every American family, you would find pesticides. To see if organic could make a difference, we switched these families' diets to all organic for one week. Then another round of samples was taken. I'm very curious. I expect there to be a difference. I don't see how there could not be. We're waiting. We're excited. We figure the reveal is today. After one week on an organic diet, almost all of the pesticides disappeared. Wow. Crazy. I guess I didn't expect it to be so drastic. Just big drops across the board. And I mean, everybody did. It's definitely a wake up call. Just seeing that drop down to that right above zero mark, just for the six days, like I, it makes me wonder like, wow, what if we did this for a year? This study shows that organic works. An organic diet dramatically reduces your exposure to pesticides. We all should be concerned about children. Children are known to be more exposed to some of these chemicals as compared to adults. Chemical exposures could actually lead to lifelong impacts. Small exposures do matter because we are exposed to multiple pesticides throughout our daily lives. These small amounts add up, which raises concerns about cumulative impacts and risks. If my kids have this much of a change in their numbers, you know, what do other families have? Farm workers were definitely in the front lines. We're the first to go into the field, so you have an entire community that has suffered the consequences of the saturation of chemicals. Farm workers have a right not to deal with being exposed to dangerous chemicals as they harvest the crops. On the other side of this story are the pesticide manufacturers. A handful of companies have a huge economic stake in maintaining the use of pesticides in agriculture, and they also have the resources to block any new regulations. We're paying for the use of their toxic products with our health and our lives. We are literally the bodies of evidence that prove that the system needs to change. It is possible to avoid the use of pesticides in farming, 
organic farming practices go beyond the farm. We become caretakers of a better food system, of an organic food system. I know we can be doing a better job overall as a country and the government. Policy change is very important. It's important to contact your local Congress folk and engage them in dialogue about why organic farming is important. I would like to envision our country being 100% organic. Having the option to organic food should, should be something that is available to everybody. Everyone has the right to clean organic food. I think that is a human right. The science is clear that organic farming can feed all people, so we have the solution. We can pass laws that restrict use of pesticides, we can stop subsidizing big agribusiness, and we can create policies that expand organic farming. But it's going to take all of us. We need your help in the fight to make organic for all.